Greetings, friends. Welcome to today's devotional as we begin a new week. We begin with Psalm 93. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed. He is girded with strength. He has established the world. It shall never be moved. Your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring, more majestic than the thunders of mighty waters, more majestic than the waves of the sea. Majestic on high is the Lord. Your decrees are very sure. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. Uh, so here's a psalm that is celebrating uh, God's uh, power and might and, and, and majesty, uh, celebrating the fact that God is eternal, has no beginning or end, uh, his reign has always been and will always be. And there's a contrast here a, a little bit um, between God's power, consistency, and um, and strength versus that of the mighty waters. The floods and the mighty waters uh, were thought to be very, very powerful, but also very, very chaotic and unpredictable. But here God is seen as one who is um, consistent and in some ways very, very predictable. He's unchanging. God is, um, he, he shall never be moved. And though that may seem um, as if God perhaps were a bit stubborn uh, and brings in a question whether or not our prayers make a difference when we pray to God, whether he's going to change or not, uh, there is some question and debate about that, how much God would change or would he change his mind? And do we really want a God who is changeable, who uh, evolves or is different from era to era and I think the answer to that for me is certainly a no. Uh, God is perfect. God has always been perfect. And, and for God to change in some ways would imply that God is getting better or wasn't as good as God could be prior to changing. And that's kind of a strange thing to think about. Um, but if God has always been, if he's, there is no beginning or end, one would assume that God's perfection has always been that way. Now, can God change uh, decisions and things that happen in the world? Perhaps, yes. I think that's very possible, uh, assuming, of course, it doesn't uh, change the plan that God has for the coming of his kingdom. But one of the things that that also brings for us, that God is, is not uh, chaotic, that God is not unpredictable, that God is consistent, is uh, that is the kind of God that you want to build your faith on. You want to have a foundation that is uh, permanent, that is strong, uh, just like um, the parable of, of the one who built their house on sand versus the one who built their house on rock. Uh, when the tides change, if your foundation of a god is built uh, on, in something that is loose as a sand, then you never know what you're going to get. But if it is solid as a rock, you always know what you will get from God. Uh, his love will never change. His grace will never run out. His mercy will be uh, new and fresh every day, and he will always be there for us. There will never be a time where God will uh, disappear or vanish or leave us for any reason whatsoever. So it's important for us to think of God in that way, of being solid and unchangeable uh, and consistent in all of his ways and perfect in every way, um, because that makes God very dependable, more dependable than anything that we have on our earth, any human relationship or any person that we know. So that's the kind of God that uh, we serve. That's the kind of God that loves us. And that's the kind of God that gives us strength for each day and for different seasons in our lives when we find ourselves being challenged uh, by the inconsistencies and the chaos of life itself. The one thing that remains true and consistent and solid in our lives is our God. That's our devotion for today, and until tomorrow in Psalm 94, God bless you all.